She tell me, I hate you, then I love you, can't blame you. She said, I love you, but can't trust you, can't change you. I just hope we don't hit how they do. Crash and burn on the same room, see, run. Let me stop before I get another freaking copyright strike. Oh yeah, by the way, oh by the way, um, what you call it? My video, my literally the first video to ever like do well on my channel got a copyright strike and they took the video down. I'm just like well, YouTube, why are you hating on me? Literally, y'all could have just left the copyright. Um, what you call it? You know when a video gets copyrighted, like yeah, y'all could have just left that copyright disclaimer. Y'all didn't have to strike the video down. You didn't have to get my video. You did not have to give me a, a strike. You did not. So now I got two more strikes left, and after that second strike, my channel's gone, okay? So if one day, randomly, my channel is just gone, that's because YouTube is hating on me, okay? Oh, okay. But anyway, besides that, baby, I'm doing good. I don't know if I like this angle, though. Let me see what this angle's talking about. It's okay. I ain't put the lights on. Yeah, scoot it over like that a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we look good. I don't know how to start off this video. Well, first, let me introduce myself. If you don't know, now you know. My name is Sifa. I know a lot of people can't say my name because that's like the name of my channel. And so it is pronounced Sifa, not Sif, not Sifa, not Sophia, not Sofa. No, not Sofa. Definitely not Sofa. Sifa. I'm ninth. Hold up, let me, hold up, I'm not 19 yet. I'm 18, my birthday is this Wednesday, November 10th. Yeah, you girls, Scorpio, Scorpio, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm turning 19 next week. Hopefully when I post this video, I'll post it on the day of my birthday. Probably not, I'm not even gonna lie to you. But, I am a freshman at LSU, you yeah, gay. Uh, what else about me? What's a fun fact, what's a fun fact? What do I usually say as a fun fact? Oh, um, I love me some cheesy crackers. Love me some juicy, juicy fruit snacks. Best fruit snacks on planet. Earth. And what else you need to know about me? I mean, that's really it. All you gotta do is stick around and get to know me some more. So, you know you're gonna love this energy, so you might as well just click subscribe right now. And if you don't, you're literally a hater. Like, you don't want to see me prosper. You don't want to see me prevail. You're a hater and you're the scum of the earth. That's just, I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. You chose to be a hater and not want to like, comment, and subscribe. So, I mean, that's just that's just how the game goes. First off, I want to say thank you to Yolova. Am I saying it right? Yo Lova. Yo Lova hair. Thank you, Lova. <laughs> Thank you to Yo Lova hair for sending me some hair. For <sighs> what is going on? My brain not working. <laughs> Thank you to Yo Lova hair for sending me some hair for this video. Yes, this video is partnered with Yo Lova hair, but all of my opinions about the hair and everything is my opinion. 100% my opinion, no bias. Just because they sent me a hair, I'm not gonna have you no know, crazy bias. Okay, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be 100% real upfront. Yeah, you already know. Like I said earlier, your girl's turning 19, so I wanted to, you know, get my hair done. Like, do my hair, because why not? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm stuck here in Baton Rouge, can't go back to Dallas. Might as well, like, get cute for my birthday, right? Yeah, okay. So I was sent some 613 hair in 20 inches. So it was 613 hair, but I toned it with Willa. With Wella color, um, which one call it? T27. So I have this kind of like an ash blonde. It's not picking up well on camera. I feel like it's not, but it's very ashy, very blondy, you know, ash blonde, like I said. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it looks real icy, like when I turn up the brightness. I did pluck the lace. You know me, I'm gonna pluck, pluck the freak out some lace. I'm not new to this, so I kind of basically taught myself how to do lace fronts. If you would like full, if you would like a full description about this hair, make sure you check my description box. I have a code for you. I I believe it's fifteen percent off. Yes, if you use the code Sifa S I F A Sifa not Sefa not Sofa Sifa for fifty percent off at checkout. Okay. See, one thing about me, if I'm you know, I'm I'm gonna give you the discount. One thing about me, I'm gonna give you the discount. So why would you not want a discount? Yeah, please use my discount code for 50% off. Because not only does it help me, but it helps you because you get 50% off on hair. And why would I want 50% off on hair? And why would you not want to help me by using my code? Well, okay. Okay. I'm going to just go on ahead <coughs> and, like, you know, start. So they sent me this wig cap. And this wig cap is white as snow. Like, even the girl in the picture is white. Y'all should have known I'm a melanated woman. So I already got my Cleo braids going on. All we gotta do is just put, literally, just put makeup on the wig cap. Now, I feel like it's best to have a lighter wig cap 
because if you got a darker wig cap you can't make something like you can't make something that's darker lighter but you can make something that's lighter darker right and if you hear rattling in the background y'all my dorm is stupid literally the ac is loud for no reason i try to put the door in a way to like block the sound coming in but it's I'm, I'm pushing, okay? I'm in the ghetto. I'm in the ghetto, literally. I'm not really giving a tutorial. Oh my God! Why is it turning red? Yeah, like I said, I'm not really giving you a tutorial. This is just what I do. And I put the wig on just to see, like, you know, if my braids were flat enough. Tell me why every time I get a wig, the wig is too small. Like, I gotta start saying, like, oh, you need to send me a large wig. Like, large size wig cap. Because I can't keep doing this. Like, literally, the edges were kind of, like, bagger. I just nah it wasn't nah so any company that decides to send me another wig please send me a large wig cap because this is a no-go man this is a no-go so I'm just going in with some alcohol some rubber alcohol until it's like you know super clean a lot of people complain about oh my wig is lifting yes yeah your wig is lifting because you got dirt build up or makeup underneath always gotta make sure that your forehead is clean 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 oh yeah i think we good because my forehead kind of burning so i kind of wanted this video to be like a little bit of a, like a chit chat kind of like catching up because i haven't posted in a while and i haven't been consistent since i've been in college so you know we're gonna catch up chit chat and what if you're not following me on instagram that's where you need to be following me because literally i'm there every single motherfucking day if i'm not here i'm definitely on instagram trust me so it makes no sense for you to be subscribed here and you not like you know following me on instagram because that's just weird like y'all need to stop being weird okay i ain't like that last thing because i had to switch it up but anyways i got a question on my phone on my instagram like i said follow me on instagram i'm gonna go ahead and install the lace and then answer your question okay so the first question ah ew i feel so weird because i don't do q and a's like i don't do this how would you rate your college experience so far to be honest on a scale of one to ten college has been a cool eight a cool seven eight now like getting like working okay i need to work oh i, I need to oh. oh i can't multitask yo this is why i want to be home because literally when i'm at home it's so much easier to like do this because like i'm in my own private space but no why do i act like i don't know what i'm doing like girl i know what i'm doing let me stop let me stop honestly you want me to be for real with you college is like it's like a cool eight you know sometimes it has its days to be honest i don't know like when it comes to the schoolwork sometimes i just be like forget it you know what i'm saying like because literally that's all you can do like you can't stress yourself one thing i'm not gonna do is i'm not gonna stress and that's just it like you know what i'm saying whenever you do stress you kind of like i don't know like you kind of like set yourself up for a failure because you're not gonna come into you're not gonna finish the task with a good heart you know what i'm saying like anything you gotta come in with a good heart a clear mind so when you're stressed you don't have a clear mind so like really you just gotta be like it is what it is but put the work in that's basically how i would say it oh by the way my hair is growing <laughs> Yeah, it's literally been a minute since I did the wig. I'm over here forgetting a step. Girl, you gotta cut your ear hole out. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of glue. Just a little, not too much. Because I saw this girl, she was like, oh, this is more powerful than got to be sprayed. So I have to put it to the test, but I'm not so sure. And I don't want to mess up this wig. And then another question was talking about um, how it's college. Hon honestly, college is college. I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you college is colleging but i can't complain because this is what i asked for but i am grateful because not everybody you gotta look at the bigger picture sometimes because like not everybody can go to college instead of complaining you know you kind of gotta think like oh it's somebody that's like literally praying on their hands and knees to god for my position like praying that they could be in college but they can't i don't want to complain too much because you know i don't want to look ungrateful like but still like i'm gonna express how i feel college it can be hard sometimes it is not easy out here at all and my thing is my school loves to act like they broke love to act like they broke they need they always want money 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 every like i don't know how many couple months but they always asking oh yeah you gotta pay your fee bill gotta pay this gotta pay that why do i have to pay damn near i think i spent almost 400 dollars on access codes the first week of class like why am i paying 400 dollars to do my homework I'm already paying like how much intuition damn chill can I can I get a break bro and then I found out that one of my loans is in my name so now I have a credit score and I have a loan in my name 
I am, I, I'm only 18. Why do I have a credit score? I ain't buying no car. I ain't buying no house. Why do I have a credit score? So you mean to tell me I can take out thousands of dollars in loans, but I can't buy alcohol? Make that make sense, baby. Make that make sense. I, what? No. Like, one thing about college is money. Literally. If you got, well, I do got a scholarship, but still. Another question is basically like, what's my major? Okay. Ooh, I love talking about this. I don't know why. But let me work and talk at the same time because right now I'm slacking. Okay, quick intermission. Let me show you what I mean when I say like the wig is too big. So I haven't put makeup on the lace so you can't really see it, but like. You see my hairline, right? My hairline is right here. And the wig hairline is back here. I need a bigger wig cap size so it can, like, come around. You know what I'm saying? But not gonna lie, this color is bomb. Like, I toned it real nice. This color, you know I look good with every single color. Not gonna toot my own horn, but toot, toot, toot. Like, the color is real nice. I toned the hair really well. Like, don't, don't get it twisted. Like, I know this hair stuff. I've been doing hair since I was 13. Don't get it twisted. Like, come on now. Arrogant seafood here. Come on now. You should have been on this. But I really like the color. And my battery's about to die, so I gotta switch out the battery. Come on, bye. I already look good already. Like, no, no, my, oh, ah. Ooh, 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 kill him, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, so in college, right now I am studying what well, my major is basically sports administration. Now let me explain to you why I chose to do sports administration. I forgot what it was, but like I was just sitting and I was thinking like, okay, I'm finna go to, um, I think I was like a junior. Okay, so I'm just talking in the hallway. I was trying to figure out, okay, what do I really want to, like, major in and, like, what do I want to do in college and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, I was thinking, you know, thinking, I was like, okay, I want to do, I told myself, if I'm not being, like, a fashion designer, because that's something that I really want to do when I was growing up, I was like, okay, if I don't do fashion design, then my next backup career is to be a plastic surgeon, and I low-key still think about being a plastic surgeon sometimes, but I don't know. I think about it sometimes. But I chose to do sports administration because one, I love sports. Two, oh my god, I look bald for real. Oh my god. Okay, I don't think I feel comfortable talking to y'all like this. But <laughs> okay, so one, I like sports, and two, I'm a businesswoman. Business, like anything I gotta do with business, I'm there. Like um I'm your girl. When I learned about, you know, working in the sports industry and like the business side, I was like, okay, that sounds like something I can enjoy. My goal is to be a general manager of an NBA franchise. If you don't know what an NBA franchise is, because a lot of people, they don't understand when I say franchise. A franchise is a team. So uh, it could be Dallas Mavericks, Los Angeles Lakers, Atlanta Hawks, you know what I'm saying? That's what I mean when I say NBA franchise. And plus, when you think about it, it's not that many black people, let alone women, in the business side of any type of athletic to be honest with you you usually see black people on the court football field you don't see black people behind the scene making the business move and stuff like that so basically how did i say it in my essay i chose it was because you don't see black people in leadership roles when it comes to sports basic so you know i want to do some groundbreaking sh you know what I'm saying? I want to shake the room. I want to be the first. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if when you think about it, when you don't see people that look like you, when it comes to things that you want to do, like, it's okay to be the first. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody else is waiting for the person to be the first. So instead of being, instead of waiting, how about you be the change that you want to see? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I want to see a black person. Well, there are black people as general managers, but there's not a lot. There's 30 basketball teams and like, what, four or five of them are general managers? Four or five of the general managers are black. I want to be a change. I want to be first. I want to make history, period. And, you know, I'm very familiar with basketball and I love the sport. I feel like it just goes hand in hand with both of my passions, business and basketball. Boom, become a general manager. And I was also thinking about come going back, like if I were to ever go back to school, it would probably be for law. Uh, you know, when it comes to working in the NBA, you gotta start from somewhere. You gotta start from here and work your way up. So most people, they just start off as agents. You do see a lot of female agents. So yeah. So you know, I know I know some people that started off as agents or they just started off as like interns and then they turned out to be boom, a general manager or even an owner i feel like coming here is definitely excuse me I, why did i burp in y'all face i'm sorry definitely coming here is going to help me with connections going to help me with internships and stuff like that i'm studying to be a general manager with nba 
at first I was like, why do you have to go to school for that? But then now it kind of makes sense. Like now that I'm taking the classes, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, you gotta have, you gotta be educated to be a general manager. And if you don't know what a general manager does, basically you handle negotiations, contracts, deals. Like you gotta be a tough cookie. Like this ain't nothing to play. This ain't nothing to play with. You gotta understand the game. You gotta understand the sport. Duh. You gotta, you know, know people. Of course, you gotta know who the athletes are. Matter of fact, let me give you like a full definition. And so according to Google, an NBA general manager is responsible for player contract negotiations. Like I said, typically the general manager also supervises operations of the coaching staff, which includes the power to hire and fire coaches and assistant coaches as well. You it's like you you being like you know you the you the it's like we playing chess everybody is a pawn the players the athletes y'all are my pawn the coaches they the pawns too they the rook bishop you know what i'm saying and like i'm moving the pieces around to create a powerful to create you know a power team but you know i feel like i can do it like i'm it's no reason why i can't it's no reason why i can't if i say i can then i can and that's just it. That's just it. Hey, let me go ahead and clean my forehead off and start gluing this wig down. Because I'm tired of talking to y'all while I'm bald headed. I don't feel comfortable. I feel like you laughing at me. Stop laughing at me, bro. Somebody asked me would I date a white boy. The answer is hell yeah, I would. But thing is, I don't see myself with just any white, any white dude. Like, you gotta have some soul. Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have some soul. You can't be corny. I can't do the corny can't do corny like the white boys here some of the white some of the i'm i'm, oh, I'm trying my hardest not to say white because i don't know why but that's just in my vocabulary but some of the white guys here well it don't even sound right saying white guys but some of the white dudes here they kind of they kind of got that little creole in them you know we in louisiana so they kind of got a little a little cajun in them that's the type i like the soulful cajun white dudes with the, they got that that tongue like that nola that nola boy accent <laughs> sorry about that accent man mm. Ooh -wee. but yeah if i date a white boy you gotta be soulful that doesn't mean act black because i know it's some white girls out here that like some white girls they try to act like act like a stereotypical black girl that's not cute don't act like a stereotypical black man act like yourself but like you know have some soul have some cajun in you seasoning i like that and you gotta be fine like fine like not no basic white boy cute fine nah fine fine not even fine fine you gotta add the o in it fine boy but that's all I'm accepting and nothing less. Nothing less. But when it comes to like the dudes out here, Louisiana men, y'all a different breed. Like y'all so different. Like the way you talk. Ugh. It's like I like the Louisiana accent. I like the New Orleans accent. Let me be let me be more precise, more specific. That New Orleans accent, you got me. I'm not gonna lie, you got me. However, it's like some Baton Rouge people, they just can't talk correctly. Like, even in, uh, on the, what's this side? Northwest, uh, this way, going this way, near towards like Lafayette, that area. Y'all talk weird. Like, you can't speak English. And I just had to be the one to tell you guys. I, I had to be the one to tell you. You can't speak English correctly. And like the slang, the slang is, it's, mm, it's like kind of weird, but it's like in a weird in a good way. Like y'all have y'all own stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Like I remember this one time, like the first time I got here, somebody had called me they little juvie, and I'm like, what is that? And I asked somebody, and they was like, oh, that means they you, you like you're their little junior. Like that's what you call somebody that you messing with, like your little junior, like your little twin. Like oh, that's twin. Hey twin. No, like they say juvie. Like you, my, that my juvie. And uh, uh, you know how to use it. And I'm gonna go mess with my juvie. Oh, one thing about it, they got some good music, not gonna lie. That bounce, no the bounce. I feel like it's just New Orleans. And I'm definitely in Baton Rouge, but I'm still waiting for seafood. So, y'all over here talking about some, oh, it's not in season. Come on now. Tell me why I can go to Texas and get seafood anytime, any time of the year. But when I come here, it's not in season. That's what y'all known for. Like, come on now. Stop, you're embarrassing yourself now. But yeah, and I also got a question. I answered it on my Instagram, but I got a question asking, like, why haven't I been posting and stuff like that? Really, it's just because, like, you know, I don't feel, I feel like when I'm at home, I'm more comfortable just, like, okay, turning on the camera and, like, you know, making a video, sitting at my vanity, making a video, just talking. Or, like, getting in the car, 
driving around talking and driving like stuff like that it's more easier for me to get up and make a youtube video at home than it is here in college because one i don't got like that privacy you know what i'm saying not that it's a bad thing but like i just like privacy for some reason i'm gonna explain myself okay i like privacy whenever i make a youtube video i don't want it to be around people basically so and i'm always around people Ooh, i really hope i'm not getting makeup on the hair oh no we good we good we good so yeah that's the thing like i like having privacy and stuff like that and i don't really have the privacy to like you know just be like oh i don't feel like you make a youtube video today you know what i'm saying no and also it's like girl i don't look where i'm at i'm in baton rouge it's not that much stuff to do especially if you don't have a car you can't really ride around places and like you know explore like you want to like i wanted to make a video where like i go out and like you know try new things try maybe try some seafood because i've never had seafood seafood for real for real before so like i want to do a video where like i just go around baton rouge and try new things but like how am i supposed to go around baton rouge and i don't got no car Okay. Oh, yeah. So it's like it's couple it's a couple of things that kind of hinder me from just being like consistent and also college work. Definitely got college work to do. But all in all, you know, I make a video here and there. Whenever I get the chance to record, I record. So like right now I have the chance to record. You know what I'm saying? I don't even think I explained that well. Hopefully I did. And then I got another question asking what's my favorite and least favorite thing about college. Least favorite thing is this dorm. I don't like sharing a bathroom that's nasty these girls here they're nasty they're disgusting i need to get my own apartment at least an apartment and like at least i got at least my own bathroom my own bathroom my own bedroom you know what i'm saying I'm not gonna lie i don't want an old bedroom i wouldn't mind like having a roommate in like an apartment because it's like people that i know people that i'm cool with people that i fuck with so i already know like how their living habits are but like as far as you know being in a dorm that's not kind of it's not fun probably the only fun thing is like your friends and like your roommates i know a lot of people they're not cool with their roommates sucks to suck it <laughs> can't be me I feel like the one good thing that comes out of it is making friends that's my favorite thing about college making friends meeting new people met a lot of new people and i saw a post and it was like your college friends are like your forever friends something like that i feel like that's very true because in college you like connect with people that you are like you have similar interests in and like you meet people from like different parts of the world or like different parts of the country so like you explore you meet new people try new things like that's the whole point of college besides school but socializing that's my favorite part yo like for example yesterday we had a summer walker listening party that was fun it was real fun and not gonna lie i miss home i miss my friends that i grew up with like i miss you gang go back to the crib you gotta come by yourself though but no i really wish my freaking hometown friends would come to louisiana like you know you can come and see me oh yeah that's good that's good that's good you can't really tell on camera oh let me load the brightness now it's not white it's like you can see my oh. Like you can see like oh it's like scalp you know what i'm saying like the color oh i can't wait to go in and detail this uh, speaking of some walker's album oh girl she did a good one with that one it was good i can tell she was hurt though i can't relate <laughs> let me stop before let me stop but no um let me let me see let me see my favorite songs are toxic with dark darky yo sierra's prayer that's not even it's not even a song it was literally like <laughs> Summer Walker literally had me like down on my knees praying like Sierra, Sierra's prayer. Now that song or the outro, whatever you want to call it. I like how it's very much about like self love and like just thanking God. Yeah, you in a bad place. Well, not a bad place, but yes, you're hurt, but you go to God when you're in pain. I like that. Bitter, Cardi B, her out, um, her little narration that was cool. I like that. She seems like a real cool friend. Like, that's the type of advice that you need to hear. Like, don't let nobody have a one-up on you, like, at all. Like, everybody, they do weird stuff for a reaction, and you don't, don't react. That's, that's literally basically what she was saying. Stop reacting. Put that emotion to your music. Whatever you going through, put that emotion to your craft. Put that emotion to your schoolwork, and just come out on top every time. And I kind of have to tell myself, don't react. Like, don't react to things, because, you know, people love a reaction. They love a reaction. I love getting a reaction out of people too, not gonna lie. Actually, I don't. I don't do that. That's that's shysty. That's shysty. I'm not shysty. I'm not shysty. I promise you I'm not. Toxic, I think I already said that. I was singing that song. I right. 
toxic Ooh, toxic yeah that's the only part i know and that's the only part i need to know okay unloyal unloyal top two not number two um it's here's prayer that's like all the songs that i liked on my thing but i feel like i just been jumping around with the questions i don't even know which question i'm supposed to be on but a lot of these questions are like the same you know it's the same repetitive thing like oh how's college how you feel about college what you doing in college blah, 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 blah. Mm. i like this one but i don't like this one <laughs> when was your last sneaky link let me tell you about this dirty dirt just dirty like i don't understand how people live like this like this is my last sneaky link literally not doing no more i'm not going over nobody has no more but basically uh, let me get started with gluing down the lace hey, hey youtube yeah um we install yeah birthday on the way yeah get with it or get left yeah because yeah that's the only way yeah and purr she on her son she in she mm -hmm. doing a good job i like how the color came out yeah that's real cute but damn, my freaking head is big. So like the hairline back here. So I'm gonna do a middle part and like cover that. Oh yeah. Let me see what it looks like in the middle. Oh, you saying you plucked it too much? No. Or like that the, hairline is just too far back. The whole like the wig is small. Oh yeah, be your ass. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good though. I'm gonna pluck the middle. Birthday on the wig. Mm -hmm. Period. 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 Can I cuss? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the break. The oh yeah, I was just about to start talking about um about dirty. Okay, the last this was about almost a month ago. Then the month went by fast. So I was on this app, right? This app called BLK. So then I'm swiping, I'm swiping, I'm swiping, and I see this dude, and it said he's like one mile away. So basically, he got to be on campus. I swipe right. Cause you know he he looked fine in his pictures, so you would swipe right too if you saw somebody that looked fine. Well, we made a match. So then he was like, oh yada yada. He started con starting conversations stuff like that. He was like, oh you go to LSU? I'm like, yeah. You see it in my bio. And then his bio said he went to LSU too. So then after a while of us talking, literally like the first day, he was like, oh you should come over. That's that's a red flag to me. Because why are you inviting me this early? You don't even know who I am. First off, I could be a serial killer. I could be a serial killer. I could rob you. Should start robbing everybody that tells me to come over to their house the first on the first time they meeting me. Cause literally niggas is so easy. I remember this one time, it was like this dude had followed and then right the back he was like, Come over to my apartments. You don't know me. That's weird. Thing is I sent his picture to the group chat, to our group chat. And then my friend tells me that it's this boy that she was talking to and basically he ain't got no car. So he wants me to come over but he got no he don't have a car. He don't got a vehicle. Because apparently his vehicle is like total whatever, whatever. Yeah, okay. They were like, oh, I blame my friends for this, to be honest. They, <laughs> I blame y'all. blame us. I blame y'all ass. Us. I blame y'all ass. So they were like, yeah, you should go, you should go. So then I went. He had, he had First off, he had to get his homeboy to come to our dorm to come get him, to come get me. Because he ain't got no car. And I wasn't taking a bus. <laughs> That's, no. Never. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Never gave campus transit. No. No, his friend got a nice ass car. I think he got like an Alfa Romeo. It was white with red interior. It had red guts. Mm, mm, mm. We go to the apartments, right? And the apartment complex is real nice. Like, you walk in, it smells good. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay. Everybody has good, you know, housekeeping and stuff like that. I walk into the apartment, and basically, I think he has like three other people that lives in the apartment with him or two other people that live in the apartment with him so it's three people the apartment smells good in the living room so i'm like okay it's it smells good you know it's clean you know there ain't stuff everywhere but when i walk into his room tell me why as soon as i open up the door a dog comes out of nowhere and you know when you invite people over to your place you usually say like oh i have pets you know because like i could be deadly allergic to dogs and you could have killed my ass right off the bat. So his little dog comes up to me and starts scratching my feet. Because I had like, I think I had slides on. So it started scratching me and smelling me and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, you got to calm down now. Because I don't, I don't like when pets just jump on me. When you walk into the room, he had like clothes on the side, like towards the side of his bed. Like his bed is right here. And then like 
he has the side table and then it was a chair and a chair that had clothes so i'm like okay you probably just like you know did laundry and stuff like that okay and then i had my contact in this was back when like i didn't have my contacts and i only had one contact in my eye so my eye i started getting a headache so i was like okay can i go to your restroom can i go to the bathroom so i can take my contacts out <laughs> Let me tell you, if you ever go to somebody's house, always, always check the bathroom. Because the bathroom, it tells you a lot about somebody. I remember my mom, she told me, if the bathroom dirty, don't eat at the place. Don't eat there. Because if you can't keep your bathroom clean, who knows what you're doing with the food. The food probably, you probably don't even wash your hands. When I walked in, tell me why. No, no, no. At first he was like, oh, don't mind, like, the mess because, you know, I got to clean. So I'm thinking, okay, it's probably, like, a dirty counter. Well, not a dirty counter, but, like, you know when you have, like, stuff all over the counter and, like, it's not organized? I was like, okay, yeah, I'm used to that. Uh-uh, he -uh, wouldn't that. When I looked over at the toilet, why the f*** is the toilet brown? The toilet was stained brown. Like, not even, like, oh, you flush it and, like, the stain will go away it's like you flush it and it's like stained like like the white is stained so i'm like okay now nah, it's time to go but then i don't know why i didn't just leave i don't i don't know what, what was wrong with me so then i look in a shower the shower is just the same it's like around like it's not like it's a ring around the tub but it's like it's like some parts is stained brown so clearly if your stuff is stained brown you don't clean at all and then i sit down i come out sit down on the bed he knows it's the that's the funny thing about it is that he knows his place is dirty like you know you could at least like you know put some bleach in the toilet because you knew i was coming over because you told me to come over it's not like i just randomly popped up on you i sit on the bed and then his dog comes up on me and starts licking my legs so i'm like okay you i don't know what i taste like to you but you need to stop because that <laughs> one thing about it i don't like when like dogs lick me because their mouth is dirty the dog keep licking me dog keep licking me and then he finally pulls his dog away i'm like okay clearly you don't feed the dog because out of all things why is the dog licking me clearly i must have tasted good to him i ended up sticking through the whole night I don't know why I should just left. If you ever go into somebody's bathroom and the bathroom is dirty, the toilet is dirty, the toilet board dirty, the what you call it, the sink is dirty, you gotta go. Don't even don't give it a chance like me. Just leave. Just just run. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with elastic band and melt the lace. Kind of like let it, you know, sit for a minute before I cut the lace off. Ugh, I don't like when people listen when I make videos. Ah, my battery's gonna die. Okay. Okay. So this is the finished like product, finished look. You know what I'm saying? 20 inches. Ooh. So at first when I was doing the hair, I like you could tell like I was getting kind of frustrated because it just wasn't going right for me. And I always feel like every time I like record while I'm doing my hair, it just doesn't like yeah, you know what I mean? It just doesn't like cooperate with me. So I decided, you know, let me turn off the camera. I gave it a day. And then two days later, three days later, as you can see, we got a body. The top okay, I as you know this is 613 hair, so I toned it and that's really it i told you i plucked and like i customized the lace it still has motion and body even though the hair is processed oh everything about this hair is going to be linked in the description because i didn't feel like oh well, i didn't really know what to say what else i wanted to say so everything about the hair is going to be in the description and be sure to use my code sifa s-i-f-a at checkout so you can get 50 percent 15 15 percent off okay sanaya hello I'm here. What do you, what do you i love it we love it 
See, like, it's giving Eric and Tay. Eric and Tay. Eric and Sifa. It's giving Jonathan. Oh. If you enjoyed the video, which I know you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Because whenever you... Ooh, the lighting looks much better now. Whenever you like, comment, and subscribe, that, like, brings more people to my channel. And, like, why would you not want more people in my channel? Because clearly, you a hater if you don't want people to watch me, bitch. Like, like the video. That's the least you could do. And, by the way, it's free, so... At that point, if you're not liking the video, if you're not subscribing, if you ain't even leaving a comment, you ain't doing all that and it's for free, you don't want to see me prevail and you don't want to, you don't want to see me prevail and you don't want to see me win and you're bitter. That's really, that's, that's it. That's, that's all I can say. But anyways, bye. By the way, my birthday coming up, probably by the time this video is out, my birthday will already be passed. Right now, it's November 8th. I just want to say I really hope I have a really good birthday because around this time I don't know why but like stuff don't be going my way whenever my birthday is you know around the corner like last year we were supposed to go out to the gold range with my friends but corona always want to be you know what I'm saying? and then now I'm in college and I'm by myself I don't want my friends like hopefully I have a good birthday that's that's all I want to say. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye.